Hello and thanks for staying with us. Six containers of unprocessed wood intercepted by Nigerian Customs Service. Also on Customs Supports, the Finance Ministry speaks on vehicle registration alongside with the management of Nigerian Customs Service. Plus, more report. I am a Gesemite. Stay tuned. The Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service has continued to implement measures in the management to enable the service to generate more revenue for the country. He was speaking in Abuja when he was briefing members of the National Assembly on happenings around the Nigerian Customs Service. The city said that the service will continue to fine-tune the operation of the customs. He speaks more on a number of issues. I am going to respond to this one after the other. I would first take the chairman's uh, comments. Uh, on the issue of uh, the budget of 2021 and the need to increase it from the 1.4 trillion to 1.679 trillion. Uh, let me grab the indulgence of the chairman here to say the target set by the federal government every year is based on some parameters. Uh, is, is, is not based on an ad hoc uh, computation. First and foremost, the M MTEF, uh, which is the budget committee, sits down and look at and do a, a complete uh, analysis and then do a projection. And with our own officers, we also sit down and look at what is feasible that can be generated. And Mr. Chairman, I make haste to say this last year, 2020, we are lucky. That's why the COVID-19 were able to garner this. But as at then, uh, the African Free Trade uh, Agreement did not come into place. African Trade uh, Free Trade Agreement has now taken effect from the 1st of January, 2021. And that agreement is geared towards zero duty for all imports coming from member countries within Africa. Imports coming from countries within Africa is a significant percentage in the collection of duty we do. Secondly, Mr. Chairman, if you recall when Ngozi uh, Owela was here, she made mention of the WTO agreement. That also has come into effect. And we are signatory to that treaty. What is also gearing to us is zero duty to the import of member countries. So if we take this into consideration, Mr. Chairman, uh, and I also want to say here that the COVID that we, we are praying assiduously that COVID subsides. The vaccine is getting on and uh, very well, although not many Nigerians are shying away from it, from what I gather. But hopefully, very soon it will pick up and most of us will be vaccinated and protected against this pandemic. But we must also make sure you understand that a lot of industries outside Nigeria has suffered tremendous injuries with regards to uh, the COVID. So picking up and really producing and, and um, of course for our own people to be able to buy these things will take a longer time. So putting all this together, Mr. Chairman, and then when we look at uh, the, 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 the target, we would crave the indulgence of this committee to understand that we rather trade on the uh, fair ground than to be in a haste. We need to take it slowly. 1.4, the last time when, the, when the, the COVID came into place, the government decided to reduce that budget to 1.3 trillion. By God's grace, we were able to get 1.5 total collection. So it is also our hope that if we get anything above 1.4, it will reflect in the collection. But I don't want us to set a target too high 
And then uh, at the end of the day, we find it difficult to meet. And uh, we feel uh, somehow that we have not been able to perform. But there are variables, intervening variables, that I want you to take into consideration. And this agreement, by when they fully take effect, they are really going to eat much in our own collection because there will be zero duties. And we cannot enforce it beyond that. We must allow these things to come at that level. So, Mr. Chairman, I want you to take this into consideration in taking a decision as to what amount should be. And uh, I feel that we should return to 1.4. And if anything, in the, in the course of the year, allows us to collect anything more than 1.4, it will be reflected just like uh, it was reflected in 2021. But I don't want us to be too ambitious, only to fall far short of what is expected. Uh, I think the morale of the officers will be, will be sustained if we are able to either meet the target or, or equal the, the, the reason. But if we begin to fall far below because the target, the, the, the target is set so high, then it will, there will be a problem. So I appeal that we, we look at these variables and consider the issue of, of uh, raising the budget, uh, the target to, to 1.6. We will return to 1.4, and I assure you Anything collected beyond 1.4 will be reflected just like it is reflected in 2020. The Nigerian Customs Service has been speaking with members of the National Assembly on custom matters. The acting Deputy Contra General of Customs in charge of enforcement and drugs says that the Nigerian Customs Service will continue to follow the rules as approved by government. The acting DCG in charge of enforcement and investigation, San Andrean Customs Service will continue to maintain the rules as approved by government. He was speaking in a panel set up by the National Assembly on the killings of some people in Oyo State. He speaks more. That there is no custom personnel that is not trained. Before you are ever recruited and deployed, you must undergo basic training, including weapon handling. That the operations are not necessarily limited to the borders. We are not under any limitation. Under Section 158 of SEMA, we are to patrol freely. SEMA is an act of parliament. It's a more important part. It is still in existence until, until, until it is It is still the act we are working with. You are working on, you are working on the uh, amendment. And until that is done, we are working with what we have. So under section 158, we are to patrol for it no inhibition. So we are not limited to uh, 40 kilometers from the borders. Yeah. That is that. Then, three, the incident in Ishei relates to our federal operations units, not the Oshun or your command. Federal operation controls zone A and covers the whole of the southwest. And on intelligence, they can go anywhere to operate. But the particular incident of 13th of uh, May. We now bring you a recap on what the committee says on the Junk Custom Service last year when they visited the Federal Operation Unit in Lagos. Apart from the Federal Operation Unit of Nigeria Customs, Zone A, headed by the Acting Controller, uh, my brother DC Yaya Usman. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you listen to one side and take decision or you give judgment, you may be misfiring. Now we have listened to him and then we have seen for ourselves why people complain bitterly about it for you. 
especially well this issue of contraband, issue of vehicle smuggling, and the evil of stoppage of some containers. And then there's a clear cut information now that uh, people are not compliant. And you want to tell the, 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 the command that they, they have done well. And they, we, as we have seen, look at the 2020 vehicle uh, uh, Lexus 570 LX. That duty payment will be like an uh, average of maybe uh, 22 or 23 million yeah, you're right. so, uh, per vehicle. And several of them, is ev they are evading uh, duty. I'm not encouraging this. We need revenue now. And then with their support, if they work together, the only thing I just want to say, I want a synergy uh, w uh, between the FOU and the, the commands at the ports so that at least they can facilitate trade. Where there are hindrances, they should meet and then resolve that. Apart, aside that, uh, they are doing very well. They are doing very well. Uh, you no, know, very surprising. Especially finding rice inside, inside uh, cylinder, gas cylinder. I don't know. What are they trying to achieve with this? And then the level of seizure from FOU is commendable. The Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service has said that the main importer of the illegal wildlife product into the country is on the run. He warned importers to stop bringing in contraband items into the country. He also said that the seized pangolin is worth 22 billion naira. Proper examination of the sacks revealed the following. One, 17,134.40 kg of pangolin scales. Which, are, which is contained in 196 sacks. B, 870.44 kg of elephant tusk. And C, 4.60 kg of pangolin claws. The seizure is in line with section 63E and G of SEMA, CAP 45, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, as amended. So the main suspect who is on the run will be arrested according to the law. So that the security and agencies at all entry and exit points are on red alert to track down the suspect. So that three suspects who are non-Nigerians have been arrested. Because the suspect that we have now, three of them are all uh, for uh, not Nigerian nationals. The, the kingpin also uh, is also a not a Nigerian uh, uh, national. With that means that. <clears throat> the only onus on us is to try them, find them guilty, and, uh, and, 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 and jail them. The seizure of the pangolin skills and elephant talks was made by the CG strike force operating in the Western Zone alongside with CIU. <laughs> the items seized within the period under review include 371 packs and bottles of unregistered products, including codeine, a total of some 27 cartons of foreign macaroni. 497 bags of foreign rice and 19 vehicles seized. We also have uh, 147 belts of foreign second-hand clothing, valued at 23 million. Uh, this second-hand clothing, as we all know, we have been, we have been showing, showcasing it to you, uh, is on absolute prohibition list in our custom nomenclature. It's not allowed to come. Uh, wherever we see, we partner with uh, whoever is uh, compartner with us uh, to arrest it so that uh, it doesn't go out to public uh, circulation. We also have 105 cartons of foreign ever soft. Uh, soft, as you all know, uh, and other detergents uh, are not allowed to come uh, because in the wisdom of Paragon of Nigeria, they are trying to encourage local production. As you all know, local production encourages bring off uh, multiplier goodness, uh, employment generation, conservation of foreign exchange, and uh, so many other good things that uh, if we can do it here in Nigeria. If you can paralyze here in Nigeria, I think they're better for us. The custom boss also said that the command handed over cannabis to Kaduna State Command of the NDLA. The duty paid value of the seizure stood at 278 million naira. He wants smugglers to stay off Kaduna axis of the command. 
the bill they can bring everything and make this country as, a, as, as, as if we are dumping ground. Nigeria is not a dumping ground. We are ready, we are ever ready to, to pass them to ensure that this does not escape uh, uh, our vigilance. He has smugglers to disease from smuggling activities and get engaged in legitimate business. Due to the danger of smuggling, which he said was already destroying the nation's economic advancement across the world, including Nigeria. In his briefing in Ibadan, the custom boss noted that in three weeks the command made massive seizures of different products from smugglers. So the command is committed to generating revenue for the country and suppress smuggling and finally to ensure that prohibited items were not smuggled in and outside the country through the borders. In less than a month from 7 July to August 3rd, August 2021, the command has in its possession 60 drums of 100 liters each of PMS, 388 kegs of 25 liters each of PMS, and 70 kegs of 25 is at each of Argo, otherwise known as diesel, totaling 15,700 liters of PMS and 1,750 liters of Argo. We are not here to joke. We have a duty to generate revenue and suppress smuggling to the barest minimum while ensuring that prohibited items are not smuggled in and out of the country through our, our borders. The custom boss said all borders along Oyo and Oshu area, among others, borders across the country, remain closed to any form of inward and outward trade. Full for thought, I wonder why someone will want to risk losing their high end savings to the government when there are so many other ways you can do a legitimate business and earn a legitimate earning. These products will be auctioned and proceeds remitted accordingly to the federal government. I want to appreciate Customs Intelligence Unit, Customs Police Unit, Joint Border Patrol, Federal Operation Units, and the Strike Force Team for their contributions and synergy in the course of our duties. The CAC urged public to support the customs in the implementation of governing fiscal policies to help boost the social economic development of the state. The acting controller has one importance to stop bringing in goods not approved by government into the country. The custom boss made this known while displaying some seized items by his team to members of the press. The main, the main thing, rice. We have 50 kg bag of rice, 314 bags worth 7 million five hundred ninety-eight thousand naira. Also, we have a motorcycles, four, with a duty paid value of 400. I mean, 240 thousand naira. Also, a box of fat leather. This is from the Republic of Benin, a foreign fat leather. Uh, 21 bags, 154 thousand. Wada also want importance of smuggled goods to desist from the act of smuggling in the spirit of national interest. The operatives, Nigerian Customs Service and the public. If you look at it <clears throat> as usual, we are not relenting. As they change strategies, as they pursue, they go, that is, they go ahead with their own tactics. We always come up with strategies, which we always try to counter them, and we are succeeding. Day by day, we are pushing them down to the gallery, because, like I used to say, the, what is the essence of what we are having? Instead of going to the right path, now you go on the other side, smuggling, highly unpatriotic business killing the country entirely. We now look at what we have arrested so far. It's now a loss to them. He want importance and agents to always find out the list of importation before shipment of any consignment into Nigeria. You are watching the program Customs Report. <laughs> the Federal Minister of Finance and Nigerian Customs Service will still start a joint registration of vehicles in the country. 
the Minister Representative said that the system will further improve the revenue base of the country. Uh, like we said when we are addressing the audience in the, uh, the conference, with this vehicle registration in Nigeria, one, it will accrue enormous revenue for the government. It will help to check for infiltration of cars into the country, especially the stolen ones. And if we achieve this purpose, we'll be able to track stolen vehicles. And even, we don't have history of cars in this country, but with this, you will have history of cars. When you buy a vehicle, you will know whether it has, uh, is an accidental car, whether it was uh, used for this, when it was bought, who owns it the first time, and in fact, the, generally the history of the cars. Why the representative of Lagos State Government and also the Commissioner for Transportation has this to say? Um, Lagos State has about two to three million cars that apply its road every day. A lot of crimes are committed. Um, most of these people don't have fixed address, uh, etc. So we see this as an avenue for curbing the crimes, making sure that negotiations are safe, making sure that uh, we develop a, a safe road network. So it's a way of um, harmonizing all the database. So various agencies have database that we have not put together. So this would harmonize the whole database. This would enable us to know who owns the particular vehicle, who drives the particular vehicle, so that we can, uh, I mean, criminals on our road, we can tackle that. And then when people know that we know where they live, we know who owns these cars, um, I think they'll be more cautious. So from a safety point of view, I think this is a brilliant idea. These containers of unprocessed wood has been intercepted by Nigerian Customs Service in Port Harcourt. Also, the Nigerian Customs Service also arrested the suspect involved in the smuggling of the consignment outside the country. According to the Zona Coordinator Zone C, the exportation of unprocessed timber contravenes Schedule 6 of the Extant Common External Tariff, so that cutting down logs comes with negative impact, such as desert encroachment, adding that when if tree felling is not checked, the nation's economy suffers. This is a uh, log of wood timbers in the raw stage. And government will be advocating to avoid felling of timbers, felling of our woods, our logs in around the country. You should know the effect of this one on the nation. One of them is uh, deforestation. When you deforest your environment. It leads to uh, what is called desert encroachment. It decried the economic loss brought upon Nigerians with the frustration of unprocessed logs, adding that the employment creation which results from the local processing of the logs is vital for Nigerian growth. If you start counting the uh, value chain of this uh, of felling of trees in the country, it's endless, starting from planters, starting from people that, the, 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 the furniture makers, our youth that are looking for jobs. What is our problem? Why people will not desist from doing things that are against the policy of government? We need to be patriotic. The level where there is level of patriotism. If people are not patriotic, we will still continue to find ourselves at the same level. Also speaking, the FOU Zone C controller said that locks were about to be smuggled out of the country without clearance for the Nigerian Export Promotion Council. You see, anything that is exported illegitimately, it doesn't go through normal process, due process. You have to go to National uh, Export Promotion, uh, Promotion Council and acquire a form we call NXP, Nigerian Export Proceed Form, where the government will have statistics of things that are being exported so that the proceeds will be repatriated in the country. But if these things go unchecked, in, you know what it means. The money will be used for, you know, to impose some smuggled items that will be detrimental to the economy of the country. And it's not good for us. He therefore urged Nigerians to assist the government against smuggling activities in Nigeria. The Customs Area Controller in charge of Upper Customs Command 
as one smuggler has to disease from smuggling activities within the port. The Customs Area Control also said the service is ready to implement measures against the short payment of duty to government. It speaks more on a number of issues. No expiring date is mentioned here. It's just a drug. Maybe it has even expired before it is uh, uh, imported into this country. And they apply it as hot pot. In the manifest, this is what is called hot pot, pot, pot. So they pay the, the, the duty, they want to pay the duty based on this. But the actual things they have here is this consignment. Cough syrup. Cough syrup with codeine. And you are all aware that a codeine is banned by the federal government because of its sad effect to human life and to human health. And this man, with his unpatriotic nature, he went ahead to import this. The total cartons on this codeine is 722 cartons containing 1,444. 400 uh, bottles of codeine inside this container. The intelligence we received from our sister agency, we tracked the container, we waited for the person to appear. After waiting for a long time, then we decided within ourselves that we let us try so that this kind of import will not find its way to the uh, members of the community. Just before the end of this week edition of the program Customs Report, we brought you a report where containers of unprocessed wood was intercepted by Nigerian Customs Service in Port Accord. For me, Igesemi Thanks for watching.